Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to create a full backup of Windows 7, and also, how to restore this full backup on Windows 7. Microsoft is known to have ended support for Windows 7, which means that your device no longer receives security and maintenance updates. If you don't still using Windows 7, you should create a full backup, with a copy of your installation as well as a copy of your settings, applications, and files, in case you need to retrieve them. And I will show you first the steps, to create a full backup, and the first thing you need to do, is open the control panel. After opening the control panel, click on the backup and restore option. After that, click on create a system image option, from the left pane. After that, you will see three options, for how to save the backup. The first option is the hard disk, you can save the backup copy on the same hard disk, but in another drive, or an external hard disk, if that is available to you. And the second option, if you own a DVD, you can keep the backup copy on it. As for the third option, which is to keep the full backup copy, on another path on the network, you can select a shared file, on the network and save the backup copy on it. I will select the first option, and save the backup on the same hard disk, then, click on the next button to continue. When creating a full backup, it will make backup of the system reserve partition, as well as a full backup of the C drive. Click the start backup button. After that, the backup process will start directly, and it may take some time, so leave it, until the backup process is completed. At the end, you will be asked to create a recovery disk. Click on the yes button, if you want, or you can ignore the option, where you can use Windows 7 installation USB media access the recovery settings as needed. The backup copy was created successfully. Click on the close button, and you can open the D drive, to verify the backup copy. For your information, you can transfer, or take a copy of it on an external hard disk. The next step is to restore the full backup, on Windows 7. Open the control panel again. Then click on the backup and restore option. Then, Click on Recover System Settings on your computer. Then click on Open System Restore button. Then select the option to choose a different restore point, and click on Next button. Then select the point that you want to restore, and click on the Next button. Finally, click on the Finish button, and Windows will immediately restore the backup. All you have to do is wait until the backup is successfully restored. After completing the steps, the computer will return to the previous installation, and you will see that the process of restoring the backup was completed successfully. These restore steps work in the event that your Windows is still working, but you want to restore a previous point, but in the event that Windows is damaged, in this the case, there are other steps by using Windows 7 USB media, and doing a you can use in the option repair your computer, I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.